Hello, this is a video response to the earlier video, The Matrix. Today I'll be using a Voyage 200, but the method is quite similar to the same method you would use for using a TI-89 or a GI-92, if not exactly the same. First, turn your calculator on. You'll see an app screen. You'll want to scroll over to Data Matrix Editor and hit Enter. Scroll down to New, Enter. We'll need to tell it the type. This is a matrix. Hit enter. Scroll down and we'll name it. And I'm just going to come up with the name M1. We can call it whatever we like though. Scroll down. Here we see that there are three rows. The, ro the rows are horizontal. The columns are vertical. There are four columns. So three by four. Hit enter. And here we have an input menu. So this represents every element in the matrix. So simply copy this over to here. So 3, enter, it moves me into the next space. 4, enter, negative 2, enter, 6, enter, and it moves me down to the next row. 1, enter, 2, enter, 0, enter, 4, Enter. I'm on the last row now, I'm doing this row right here. 0, enter, 1, enter, negative 7, enter, 3, enter. And now my matrix is saved under M1. I can move back to the main screen by hitting second in apps. This switches me back to the home screen. Now from here, I'll press second and 5, the math menu is over 5, scroll down for matrix, scroll over, and scroll down to reduce row echelon form, and press enter. I'll now refer back to M1 by pressing M and 1, close parentheses, and enter. And here are the answers to the problem. X is negative 2, Y is 3, and Z is 0. And this is seen from the last column in this matrix.